good morning good evening good night from wherever you're watching this video from welcome to gantes creation this is uh, another uh, video uh, today we are going to calibrate uh, as a barista uh, by the way today's barista is yours truly barista morgan we're going to calibrate uh, uh, two types of beans using a malconing uh, grinder two grinders and uh, three grouped uh, lamazoko machine very heavy commercial uh, and um, we are going to start with the clearance of the station um, make sure you, your station is neat before you start then uh, turn the grinder to the usual morning grind number uh, the one that uh, I'm used to um, clean the potter filter make sure it's dry because uh, our wet potter filter will also affect the flow of the espresso uh, tear the potter filter using your wind scale so that uh, to subtract the wind scale weight then grind the um, since we've changed the grind size the grind size or the grind number we have to clear the the uh, the, the, the coffee beans that were there before we change the grinder the number uh, confirm the weight of the grind uh, the potter filter is zero and then uh, weigh your coffee Make sure it's uh, for now we are using 18 grams of ground coffee um, <clears throat> levelize your coffee in the potter filter and then using the force tamper tamp your, your coffee uh, put your cup then make sure it's zero start your extraction make sure it starts with the five seconds immediately you start the extraction you you you, you press the button after five seconds the first drop should uh, come down and then check the floor check your crema check your uh, quality of the coffee uh, the machine is set to automatic so it's it's uh, you just make sure the grind size and the grind uh, and the dosage dosage of the coffee and then uh, the machine will work it's you can do it manually of course but uh, also uh, to make work easier since you 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 have the, the 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 details saved already in the machine you just use automatic or as you prefer also you can use manual uh, the first uh, extraction is just to check and also to to confirm that if the, the the flow is okay then now the confirmation uh, extraction is the one that you can now change the the machine into automatic uh, into manual mode so that you can also uh, change anything that you see is to be changed and then also tear your water filter and then those to 18 grams exactly 18 levelize your coffee tamp and then now with whatever you had the first extraction now you can I mean approximate or do the changes then you confirm by doing the next extraction first press in five four three two one uh, that's the nice yes espresso um, check the flow check your time um, most uh, 30 seconds the yield uh, 30 
536 also is a good uh, espresso mm. and now that i'm okay with the yield i will save my recipe this machine is so so high tech it has five recipes one manual uh, it has three buttons one manual first one you can save two recipes the second the third one you can save also other two recipes so you can do magic with this type of grinder now we move to our second uh rose profile the first one was light now this one is medium to dark you have to check all the coffees before you start selling uh-huh now we have removed or purged the first coffees because we were not sure of the grind size that was there before we started calibrating and also we set the grind size to what we want 18 is our dose so make sure by removing the excess um, after you get your 18 grams make sure you put a filter is clean at the edges levelize your coffee then thump this is the first uh, drive or the test so it's just to see if uh, any what you have make sure you have a weight scale while calibrating start put the zeros on the timer and the weight area Now that we know the flow, we can adjust according to the flow. If it's fast, you go fi finer. If it's uh, slow, you go coarser. So in this case, we see it is moving fast. So we have just adjusted. So we remove the... Before we take the final dose, you purge first then take your final dose make sure you tear your put a filter then check 18 grams okay thump good to reuse no need of using all the cups in your station then you're left with no cups then zero your timer check in five four three two one mm -hmm. at least we have a nice honey thick flow espresso Check your time also. To set to automatic, so the settings. Also, you should you should uh, remember to check the boiler temperature i mean the water temperature at most 91 90 to 91 past that that's too hot it will like make the coffee um get burnt and have a smoky or uh, also too much uh, hot water will make the coffee taste uh, weird so we are satisfied with all our two types of beans of the day uh, now we can start cleaning and make sure station cleanliness is next to godliness 
before we start the shift make sure you're okay uh, if you have a clean station then you'll have a clean mind to tackle the shift and uh, yeah that was the calibration of the day we are done ready to rumble ready for the day uh, make sure also don't leave the cake coffee cakes in the potter filter and yeah so that was our calibration of the day i hope we will have a lovely lovely day thank you so much